earthy so forsaken, from the heavenly heights he came, so that we could be awakened and wake others in his name. All is changing, all is reforming. Day is night and earth is sun, and the silent soul is transforming. A new epoch has begun. No more kings and no more emperors, no more masters and no more slaves. Let the soldier turn into templature, let the shepherd be a sage. All is changing, all is ascending. Only seek and you shall find. The fire of love's undying is a glow of humankind. Perhaps in sleep I will awaken the rightful powers that guide me. Guzzler. 
It only gets about two miles a slave, so we have to stop at the water pump too often for my liking. But darling Molly said that it was warranted to last for 20 years, or the wearing of 20 of the slaves who cares. Whichever comes first. But enough about me. You three look positively ravishing tonight. Every, where did those jewels come from? This beautiful silk scarf was a gift from General Flavian and cost 75,000 sesterces. Oh, this woven gold bracelet, a souvenir of Lamia's Saturnalia banquet, of course, was recently appraised at 30,000 sesterces. And I paid for this lovely dress myself. It was only 10,000 sesterces, so don't you dare tell anyone that I got it at such a discount. Gabriel, aren't you ashamed to be such a bargain hunter? Oh, my gown is of far better quality. It is woven of silk so it's been brought back from Asia Minor during Rome's battle with King Mithridates. And because of its antiquity, it is valued at 75,000 sesterces. And speaking of antiquity, Steve's Nisya, your gray roots are starting to show through again. <laughs> Well, you're the darling. You needn't worry about your great roots. Indeed, you needn't worry about any roots. <laughs> Keep your hands off of my wick! Go straight from the head of an Egyptian princess! It cost me 12,000 sestresses. As far as your dress of precious silk, we'll see about that. Oh, look at it, Amelia. It's nothing but cotton. Cotton, how dare you! I wouldn't settle for anything less than silk, unless you two miserly, miserly! I had already spent all of our father's fortune and most of my first three husbands' wealth before you two even learned how to shop. And poro ergo sum. I shop, therefore I am. Well then, why do you wear such trash? <laughs> a selection of appetizers, fried grasshoppers, ostrich wings, locusts and honey, 12 varieties of songbirds served in their feathers, and baby pelican livers raised in their blood. For the Prima Mensa, we have a selection of seafoods, eels, squid, and octopus, garnishing a roast of the emperor's pet shark, you know, the one who made feed his disobedient slave. And for dessert, a relay of 100 runners will deliver fresh snow from the Alps, which we will stir together with fruits grown in North Africa. Following that, the menu of the second dinner. My stomach is positively growling in anticipation. My stomach feels upset. And now, Your Excellencies, you shall glimpse the God and man who makes our sinful repast possible. Bow before him, adulate, adore him. It is he, the divine emperor, Caesar and character, Pontifax and Jupiter. Lords and ladies, here's Nero. <laughs> Only speak of the numbers and 
in the audience. <laughs> never have, can't help but laugh uproarious. Look at me, darling, my eyes are tearing. I too am on the verge of tears. But I really don't see it. Sophia, darling, I hope all this is exhausting. <laughs> Stealing their possessions? <laughs> 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 Like a, a... A giant among pygmies! 
Yes, Petrus. A giant among pigments. But how do you know? Uh, why, um, all of Rome speaks of his greatness as a commander, of his boldness and generosity to his men, and of his grandeur and gallantry. Now my heart is breaking to think that I spurned him when he stood, when he stood just where you stand now. And he said, he said, as long as stars shine in heaven, Marius's heart will beat for Sibia. Why, that's exactly what he said. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, it is a very common vow that young men make at the Lupercal, my lady. Only the names get changed. Oh, and I thought it to be his own creation. Petrus, you are a man and the best of your kind. Tell me, as a man, if you were Marius and had been spurned by Sibia, would you have forgotten her? Forgotten? My love would have only ripened into a love deeper and more true than before. And if this time it were I who declared my love for you, would you spurn me? Only a fool would reject as magnificent and beautiful a lady as you. I mean, no, no, my lady, I would not spurn you. And that settled it. I'm determined to win back his love. The day after the triumph, I'll make my way to the house of Marius Tullius and beg his forgiveness for my foolish behavior. Nay more, I won't desist until I'm pledged to be his wife. A bold strategy, but good general that he is. Marius is sure to be won over by it. Oh, Marius, you are truly a rock and support to me in my womanly travails. But I'm a faint-hearted female, and I fear that I will lose the force of my resolve unless you come with me when I visit Marius. Uh, I come with you? Oh, oh, no, my lady, I could not do that. Uh, another man in the room uh, might cause Maurice Tullius to grow shy. He might even become mm, jealous. Jealous? Of you? Oh, Petrus, you're an excellent jester. Thank you, my lady. Then that said of it, I'm, I'm determined to win back his love. Appear before me in two days' time. Yes, my lady. Oh, um, and if you will, good Petrus, wear something a little less dusty. Lucia, ah, oh, Lucia, we'll need all your ingenuity to get out of this one. Once was Sibia. I have 
come to beg your forgiveness for my thoughtless and hurtful words of three years ago. Yes, they certainly were thoughtless. But then again, thinking was never one of your strong points. <laughs> I don't know why I ever spoke that way to you. I would expect nothing less from such a shrew. My sister is going to ruin everything. I'll never forgive myself for the harsh words I said to you then. That's good, because I'll never forgive you for them either. Lucia is going too far. Ahem, General Marius, I have worked as a stonemason in Sibia's employ for three years now, and I can attest to all the remorse that she feels for you. And furthermore, I can assure you that- No one asks for your testimony, Pebble Smasher. Close your mouth or I'll have my servants toss you in the tiger. Now, let me please hear more of your remorse and shame. What is all that bracket? Pernigus, go to the east entrance and see who is there. What's the matter, Pernigus? Jack got your tongue? Where is your mistress, Lucia? She is... She is... <laughs> she... She is... Where is she? I keep in one of my notes, so I decided to make this siege a personal one. You know what to say, Veni, Vidi, Vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. Begging your pardon, sir, but they also say that Boot, Amarellus, and Bellus has fell. If you want to be loved, be lovable. <laughs> True, but is it not voted that Fortis Fortuna Adivat, fortune favors the brave? Yes, Your Excellencies, but I've also heard that Sertus ends Nietzsche. He used to be saying, are you really taking a life? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand this spot up for grams. Announce that I'm here. Yes, Your Excellency. One moment. And so I have come, good Marius, humbled and saddened, to ask if you have it in your heart to forgive me. My Lady Sylvia, such a serious matter needs due consideration on my part. I must retire to my chambers for a few moments to think over all that you have said. Pernigus? See to it that Lady Sibia and Petrus are made comfortable by deliberate in peace and quiet. My Lord Solidus. Lucia, at last. Mm -hmm. It has been years, yet I feel as if I knew you well. I have eyes that knows the amount. It's all like your brothers. I have received your note, Solidus. Are you ready to surrender? I must hear your terms first. Ah, oh, that's determined spirit. If you give yourself up to me, I will carry off in trot to my royal domain and grant you years of peace and happiness. As your captive slave? How quick she is. She is just the mere Marius. If my virtue lies in me being so like my brother, why don't you marry him? Oh, no, Lucia. It is you and you alone that I must have for one. My lord Solidus. Surely such a serious matter needs due consideration on my part. I must retire to my chambers for a few moments to think over all that you've said. Pernicus? <coughs> See to it that the general is made comfortable while I deliberate in peace and quiet. <laughs> My Lady Sibia, <laughs> I've thought over all that you've said. Yes, Sibia, I will forgive you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Marius, now I see that that is spoken truly of you, that you are as kind as you are brave. Be bold, good Sibia. Compared to the weaklings and fox who call themselves men in Rome, Marius, you're like a stallion among glass bubbles. <laughs> I mean, you're like a diamond among donkeys. <laughs> you're like a giant among pygmies. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. For all that I want to say is, will you ask me to marry you? My Lady Sibia, I hardly expected you to be so forward. Surely, such a serious matter needs due consideration on my part. I must retire to my chambers for a few moments to think over all that you have said. I will return after having deliberated in peace and quiet. <laughs> Are you ready to capitulate? Or 
you must learn how to shoot more of Cupid's arrows at your heart. You still must do for peace, for my surrender will not be unconditional. We Romans strike a hard bargain. Just what are brothers, sir? You should know right from the start that I am not the sort of lady who is content with the life around the home and hearth. I confess that I like to tame horses and ride breakneck speed across the countryside. You don't say. And you have to give me leave to keep my skills at swordplay sharp. Well, I hadn't thought of that. And now and then, you'll have to take me traveling to Gaul or Galilee. My years of war for the seem tame compared to what our years of marriage will be. Love is war. And war is uh, heaven. And in war, they say, vae victis. Just what are brothers say. Yet again, I ask for more for the Will you marry me? Yes, Solidus. Oh, yes, 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 I will marry you. In token of her promise, I give you this ring from Judea. That scar, it is exactly like the one Mark got when you saved my life. Is it so with twins that if one is wounded, they both drop scars? Or, or those eyes, that nose, that mouth, see them. Are you your brother? It's quite a lot of story, sir. My boy, uh, my girl. I've got seen your honor. Was I think that I'm going mad? Your word, sir, is my command. <laughs>